Nintendo, and I'd like to talk about avoiding discography side effects, or what we call biologic discography. So between your spine bones, you have discs that basically act as little shock absorbers between the spine bones. And those can become torn and painful, which would necessitate discography. Now, discography is the injection of dye into those discs under uh, X-ray guidance. And the goals are to determine if there are holes or tears in the disc, or if the disc itself is causing back pain. Uh, regrettably, discography can have some side effects because we're poking a hole in the disc. Uh, one of those can be infection, uh, structurally damaging the disc and making it worse, or basically advancing degenerative disc disease. And because of all that, we no longer routinely perform contrast-based discography without also injecting a regenerative substance to help the disc. We call this biologic discography. And the reason is simple. Why damage the disc by poking a hole in it if you're not leaving something behind to prompt disc healing? Hence, our routine discography uses at least platelet-rich plasma to help heal the disc after we inject the dye and sometimes stem cells. So we still get all the same info, but we also leave something potentially helpful behind. Now, this changes how the discography procedure is done because we're less concerned about injecting large amounts of dye, hence we tend to use less of it. So I'd like to challenge all my colleagues to do the same. Now that we have high quality clinical research that PRP helps discs and some research that stem cells may help discs, why not inject something at the same time we're doing these discograms? So for more information, see Regenix.com. Thanks so much and have a great day.